Hey everyone, part two of the uh, toilet, timber frame toilet video. So just uh, rough cut some oak pegs on the table saw. Uh, they're better if you split them off a piece of wood. For a house I'd recommend splitting them out of a piece of wood, but for this we've table sawed them rough. So now I'm just gonna trim them down on the shave horse here. So we've got about 30 pegs there. Get them all trimmed down, put a taper on them, and then we'll have the pegs to put them all together. Right, let's make some roof trusses. The roof angle. Right there. It's going to be a half lap joint, so this will be half lapped off, and the other one will sit over it. Well, it'll come in and sit like that, so we want to make sure. I'm leaving it, there's going to be a bit sticking out of that half lap because the other one's going to come in here like that. We've got to make sure we've left enough. I'm not quite sure that's enough, so we'll just stick a little bit extra at the end of it. So we can always cut a bit off, they're longer than we need. Let me do that. And mark it halfway around it. real need really to spend so much time on little buildings like this as I do doing all these nice traditional joints and stuff if you want to knock something together there's plenty of quicker ways um, it's a big knot in this so it's going to be a bit of a pain yeah plenty of quicker ways to build a building than, than this um, but I've got time now you know see and it's uh, for educational purposes to show you guys. Okay, big old knot. So that half of the half lap's done. So now we need a corresponding angle that's going to sit against this one, which is the same. So both timbers sit at the same angle. The roof pitch. I don't know what the roof pitch is. I just made it up. Going to be a turf roof, so these is why they're quite big, even though it's a small little building. Quite big roof timbers, and we're doing four trusses um, because, yeah, it's going to have quite a bit of weight on it still. So, cut this corresponding angle. See that? line there is going to be our join. If we wanted to get this really nice tight join, score that with a standing knife first, but it's going to be close enough for a building. Like there we go, clamped together. So you see what I meant by leaving this bit long. There was no point in really working out the angles and stuff. I can just leave it long, cut it off flush, it'll be nice and tight then. No messing around. Um, doesn't matter if we leave that long in this situation, it's not going to be a problem. So now we're going to mark... It's hard to do this in, so you've got a view of it. So now we're going to mark the underside of here. That's where that's going to sit in. Make sure it's a nice visible line. Two pieces come together like that. See, there's a you have a bit of a step because the bits of wood are slightly different sizes, um, so we plane that. That's all right. So they're gonna get pinned together, pegged together, cut that. Probably put some glue in there as well, uh, just for extra support. So we get that done and then uh, leave it to dry. Then we're gonna come back and put in a dovetailed uh, support across them to add extra strength. 
Just getting this uh, glued together here. Put a bit of sawdust in the glue, and then that helps fill up any more gaps. And squeeze them together like that. Clamp on there. squeezing out and we're going to peg it and everything as well so I've made this piece here this is going to be a tie I don't know what it's called it ties the, the uh, trusses together and it's dovetailed so we're going to make four of these and lay them in um, so they hold and keep the roof trusses at the right angle so they don't sag um, so these will be laid in and then they'll be offering a lot of support because obviously these can't pull out because they'll be dovetailed Okay, so let's make four of those and then we'll route them into the, into the trusses Okay, so they've marked out, I'm just going to cut that out of the jigsaw then and then give it some sharp corners with the chisel Okay, let's get to it Okay, there's the four tyres made, so once everything's finished drying and it's pegged and everything Get the right router out and we'll lay these in to the trusses. Just going to draw around all of this and we're going to cut it out with the router and try and get it to fit in there on tight. That's the theory, anyway. Okay, there it is. Let's route it out. So we just go along with the chisel now and define our lines with the chisel mark so it doesn't tear out when we route it and do that all the way around I'm going to take the router route all this out freehand this out I'll probably do it in two passes so I'm going to plunge down about half what I'm doing get that done and then come back and do the other half okay let's get going Go. Getting pretty close to the lines, so now I'll plunge again, take the other half out, and we'll clean it up with a chisel. Okay, there we go. Not too bad a fit, so put some glue in there, bash that in. Okay, apologies, I ran out of battery there a second. Um, so, you've got this one glued up, it's clamped up, drying, so we're going to glue another one, another battery's charged up. we got some glue and we'll just put some sawdust in it'll fill in these small gaps this is green wood anyway so it's going to move and shrink a little bit so yeah it's not going to matter too much but it's a pretty good fit really for a building okay another one done clamped up so let them dry sand them off tomorrow and they'll be done Some of this excess glue and bits off. I'm gonna sand these down then. Okay, sand it. Okay, so there it is. It's our building in kit form. Let's call it Chris IKEA. So that's all ready to just knock all the pins and everything in and and then that will be a timber frame with the roof. Um, obviously there's still more bits to do to it after that but that is the frame done in kit form. So you can just carry it to the location, knock it together and it will go up within half an hour. Um, so I've got some volunteers coming for the weekend so we're going to be putting this together and trying to get this whole thing done uh, with a turf roof and, and cordwood walls and everything so stay tuned for that, that will be coming up 
very soon. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. So I hope that was informative and thanks for watching.